Hello, hello, sisters and brothers. My name is Tracy, coming right back to share some words of encouragement with you guys. I hope you guys had a great week so far. Thank you so much for being part of this family, being part of this team. I love you guys so much. I appreciate all of your comments. Um, thank you so much to all of those that are um, subscribe, new and old alike. I thank you guys. I appreciate you so much. Okay. Listen, I'm just going to jump right into the word. I'm going to go ahead and say this right off the bat. Yes. Yes. It's another marriage word. Okay. A God ordained marriage word. All right. Listen, you guys don't be mad. I can only give you what my father it gives me to share okay you guys know that you know that and i understand that you know you, you can kind of be tired of hearing the same thing over and over again especially especially when you have waited um when you have waited a while and you've been waiting and waiting and you get tired i understand that one of the things i do though is i just take a break from my social media once um when i feel that i'm just getting tired of um you know, maybe hearing certain things, just take a break, take a pause and remember to occupy. Listen, let me get into it. I don't know how much memory I have left on my phone and I'm actually at the parking lot in the store and just all of a sudden, people are pulling up on the sides of me everywhere. I'm gonna try to jump into the word and not have to move my car. We will see, okay? Listen, so I just wanna let you guys know that God remembers. He didn't forget about you and that's the word for today god remembers hashtag two 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 hashtag ten ten and hashtag ten okay we know that for me and for many of you when we keep seeing the number two 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 the lord is reminding us about his marriage promise that he promised to us okay it is about marriage now for me and also in the word it's the numbers um ten ten and the number ten is reminding of reminding us that this is the appointed time this is the appointed time that god chose this is a right now word so really quick i was you know, after my prayer time i opened up my bible kind of thumbing through it a little bit one of the first scriptures that came up was in exodus 6 and 5 i might be jumping ahead of myself a little bit but you guys bear with me okay and that's because of everything that's kind of going on around me and in this it's not so much as the whole scripture but what stuck out and what actually what I have actually highlighted in my Bible was I have remembered my covenant. I know the Lord pointed that out um, to go with the word today. He, God is very intentional. OK, and then also Exodus six and one, it says, then the Lord said unto Moses, now thou shall see what I will do. And that's just part of the scripture anyway. So. I just wanted to encourage you guys all today and to let you know that God does remember, all right? He remembers every promise that we have. Even though this is a marriage word, this is also just a promise word, talking about and reminding you of God's promise, okay? That's in marriage and restoration and peace and healing, okay? Babies, if you desire babies and you're married, okay? He's gonna give you those things, okay, as well, if that's what he's promised. A job, financial stability, you know, rest, okay? Peace in your mind. Let me tell you something. You cannot buy peace. The list goes on and on. So listen, man may forget, but our God, our Father in heaven will never forget his promise and his covenant to us, okay? He will never forget. So don't be weary in well-doing, all right? It's going to come. It's going to come. You shall reap if you faint not. And like I said, as I thumbed through my Bible this morning, that's the part that was highlighted. Exodus 6 and 5 is right at the end, and it says, I have remembered my covenant, okay? Hallelujah. God is so good. Good. and he's so intentional you guys bear with me i'm gonna move i up uh, it's just like everybody from everywhere i'm just gonna go ahead and move you guys bear with me stay with me and um i gotta finish this video so i'm just gonna drive somewhere else and um, no big deal i'm just gonna drive somewhere else <laughs> i think this is the first time i ever had to do that but um hey it's all right it is absolutely okay and i'm gonna get done this is looks like a good spot we're gonna park right here and get this word done nothing's gonna stop me from getting god's word out okay okay here we go so listen um so like i said that was the scripture god remembers okay 
Um, the Lord has been showing me also lately rainbows. All right. I see them with my eyes closed um, in a vision. He's just been showing me rainbows and we know what the rainbow symbolizes. It is God's covenant that he will no longer flood the entire earth again. All right. It does not stand for pride. Um, I'm not even going to say I'm sorry because I'm not. It doesn't. Okay. It is a reminder of God's promise, his covenant with um with his people. All right. Amen. And that is over in Genesis 9 and 15 and 16. I kind of read both of those. Okay. But the scripture that caught my, my, my eye, um, this morning, well, the ones I gave you and, and Genesis too. wait, listen, y'all listen, what I didn't expect to see when I was looking at the scriptures over in, over in Exodus chapter six, that I had already written down um, some scriptures and in the scriptures they had, I mean, I'm sorry, some dates. I had already written dates down by the scripture and these dates had two, two, two in it. This was not on purpose. I didn't, I didn't even remember it was going to be there, but they were there. And to be exact, it was three dates. You know how when the Lord repeats something one, two, three times, he is trying to get your attention. Let me give you the dates real quick. It was 6, 12, 22, 10, 12, 22, 11, 20, 22, 2, 2, 2. They're all in there. Okay. I just wasn't expecting it. it just stuck out. And so as I went on, um, to read Genesis chapter nine verses 16, where it talks about the rainbow in the sky, uh, I had written in the margin was hashtag two, two, two. Listen, you guys, this was not intentional. I did not know where the Lord was taking me this morning. I was just trying to spend some time with my daddy, okay? And get into the word. And so in the margin, I had two, two, two. Let me tell you something. The crazy thing, I would say ironic, but we know it's not really. The the, the crazy and awesome thing about that is I um some months ago, I was listening to another sister, Bold for Christ. I love hearing her. Um, and she was saying that how that the... I, I believe the Lord led her over to count over um, to the 222nd scripture or verse of scripture in the Bible. Y'all listen, it landed on Genesis, all right, 9 and 16, which is the 222nd scripture in the Bible that talks about the covenant, talks about the rainbow. And we know that's a promise. Listen, I can't make this stuff up, y'all. That's what the Lord was giving me loud and clear. This is your marriage season, period for those, you know, that this word is for, because we can't all be in the same um, season. My mind was completely blown. I could not believe it. I'm like, okay, Father, I hear you. I hear you. All right. God is so strategic. Listen, he is reminding us of his marriage covenant to us. We cannot forget no matter how long um, you waited. And I can't even get away from it. Okay. I can't get away from this word. The Lord does not allow me to because he doesn't want me to forget that this is the season for marriage. That's what he said, okay? I wasn't looking for it. I'm not searching for it, y'all. I have been content in the waiting, all right? Thank you, Jesus, because I was I can't always say that. So I have been content in the waiting um, for the marriage promise, but it's here. It's here right now. This is the appointed time. And I asked the Lord this morning what he wanted me to share with you guys. This is what he wanted me to share, another marriage word. Okay, because it is the season for God ordained marriages. Okay, I can only give you, like I said, what God has given me. And and again, I understand. I understand when you kind of get tired of hearing the same thing and you've been waiting a while. I understand. Take a pause, all right? Maybe take a fast and a break from social media and occupy yourself to do something else, all right, while you are waiting. God's timing is absolutely perfect, you guys. It is going to come to pass. It is. This is the time now. God said this is a right now word. And I don't take it lightly. I'm not I'm not the one to throw the the uh, Lord's name around talking about God said, God said, and he didn't say, I ain't trying to play with God. I'm not the one. All right. I am about my father's business. So for some of you, for some of you who is in the marriage season, this word is for you. Okay. Hashtag two, 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 hashtag 10, 10, because it's in his appointed time for your marriage word. Listen, don't forget to come back and share your testimony with me, please. All right. Cause I'm going to be sharing mine. 
Hallelujah. But but allow God's timing. So don't share. If he say don't share, wait, whatever it is, wait for him. So whenever the Lord allows you to share, then that's when you share. You guys, that's the word for today. I love you so much. I love you so much. Okay. I love you so much. Thank you guys again while I was away for all those that prayed, encouraged me and sowed seeds. I can't even get over. God is so amazing. He came through. You guys came through by the leading of the Holy Spirit. And I am grateful. Listen, listen, that's it. I love you. Listen, if you're new in Christ, enjoy your new life with him, sweetheart. It is the best decision that you could ever make. All heaven is rejoicing with you. If by chance you have fallen away and you're just not coming back, sweetheart, it is okay. I'm so glad you're back. All right. Enjoy your renewed life with Christ. It is the best decision that you could ever make. And yes, all heaven is rejoicing with you too. May the spirit of the living God rest upon you and your family. Y'all be blessed. I love you. But Jesus loves you so much more. Enjoy the rest of your day and your week. Listen, God remembers. He didn't forget. And he's coming through. It is your marriage season. Be blessed.